it's now been announced in all the newspapers that President Kennedy is coming to Dallas. What was the political climate as you remember it at that time? There was, I think, a lot of fear about President Kennedy coming. Uh, just a few uh, weeks before, Adlai Stevenson had been there and had been poorly received. A lady banged him on the head with a placard, and there, there was a lot of hostility. Uh, and uh, people were worried. It was definitely in the air. Um, was Marina aware of that? I don't know if she was, no. Certainly, she she thanked me for turning on the TV that morning and, and we watched the uh, motorcade as it came into Dallas. And it was such an enthusiastic crowd and the, the feelings were so good. I heard over the television, yes, uh, that shots were fired and that it had been a, that his, his head had been hit. And I was afraid it might be fatal. Um, did it ever occur to you that Lee could have had something to do with that at that point? It did point? not occur to me at that point at all. What did Marina say when she heard that the president had been shot? She said, oh, this is so sad for Mrs. Kennedy and for the two children. And she was feeling, the, the, as a parent, how that would be. Uh, I, I lit a candle and she said, is that a way of praying? And I said, yes, it's just my way. And, uh, and then we sat watching te television until we heard that, that he was, in fact, dead. And uh, uh, it was really not too long after that that there was a knock at the door and, and several police officers showed up and said they had Lee Oswald in custody for shooting an officer. And uh, they wondered if they could come in. <laughs> and I said, you have a warrant? And, no, they didn't, but, you know, I didn't see any problem with their coming in. And uh, uh, one of them asked, did Lee have a gun? And I said, no, and translated to Marina, who didn't know that. And, and she said, yes, he did, and led them into the garage where there was a blanket roll, and she thought that the gun was in there. She had seen it there. And the police officer picked up the blanket roll and it folded over his arm. And I realized that it, there had been a gun and it was gone. And he came out that night as he never had on a weeknight before and probably got the gun. And it was at that point that I thought, it could have been Lee. And what kind of company was Lee Harvey Oswald on those occasions? Well, that, uh, he didn't talk very much. Uh, he didn't want to talk English with me. So, but he would talk with my uh, husband, Michael, and they talked. I, I overheard some of the conversation. I felt like Lee f would, would take offense if you disagreed with him, that it, that it was easy to have him dismiss you as somebody who didn't understand things. Uh, and uh, I was not willing to talk, nor able for that matter, to talk politics with him. <clears throat> so uh, I avoided talking with him. From the outside looking in, what has mystified a lot of us over the years is that Marina was a very attractive woman, uh, obviously, uh, found herself in an alien land. She'd grown up in Russia. And Lee Harvey Oswald had lots of complications. It's hard to see the match up there. Did you get the relationship between the two of them, why she stayed with him? Oh, <laughs> why she stayed with him. Um, it, well, I think she really did care about him. Uh, he was kind of exotic in, in Russia, somebody very different and interesting and apparently paid attention to her and so on. And, uh, uh, but she did find herself in a country where she didn't speak the language and he didn't want her to learn it, which really bothered me. And uh, she just didn't have very many friends. I learned later that they did have some friends in the Russian community, but at that point we're not seeing them. And they had very little money. They had very little money. Do you think there was a plot that I goes do not beyond think Lee there Harvey Oswald? No. You think it was him? I think he did it. I think he acted alone. And I think the, the Walker incident really illustrates how we could plan something and carry it out, uh, and that he was willing to try to kill somebody. Why did he want to do it, in your judgment? Oh, that's, that's the hardest thing of all. I don't understand it at all. Uh, I think he had no particular 
anger at Kennedy. I feel like he was shooting at the office, not at the man, that he wanted to do something big, which he did. Uh, in the meantime, here he cared something about his wife and family, but what could he have done that was worse for them? Were you watching television when Lee Harvey Oswald was shot by Jack Ruby? Yes, I was. Marina and I were both watching. She was watching with you. Oh, yeah, sorry, no, she was gone by then. I am getting confused. I was watching television uh, and saw him shot. It was also at noon, and um, there was quite a while, and I couldn't manage lunch, I'll tell you. Um, I did feel some relief, in a sense, like a closure. Um, and it was only later that I realized we've lost a lot of information. The, what he could have told us about why or what he thought. Um, I feel like that he, he was already a fragile personality and that he might have come apart uh, under being in prison. He had done an odd thing like uh, telling us how to call him if the baby, if the second baby came while he was in, in Dallas, but did not tell us the name to ask for. He was using an assumed name. Mm -hmm. So I had only just the week before seen that he was not really glued together well, very well, uh, that had, there were gaps. Uh, and I think he would have deteriorated in, in custody.